Hello everybody and welcome to Burn to Learn. This is Rod Davis. In this video we're going to show you how to create and send an amazing and professional email. If you get confused just write a question at the comment box below. So let's begin. First let's look at a typical email. It's a plain straight up ordinary email that people send to one another all the time. Now I want to show you the same email. See how colorful it is. How the statistics appear in a graph form. Now let's go back and look at both emails side by side. Here's the straight up ordinary looking email. Here's the newly created email. Now I ask you, which of these emails would you like to send? The plain average ordinary looking one or the amazing one with all the color and the graphics? Which one would you send? We agree, we would send the second one with the color and the graphics. When you click on the new email setting, this is the page that you, you will go to. This email will be from burn to learn training at gmail.com. Now it's time to complete the two line. And we can do this by typing in the first few letters of the email address. The name will appear automatically and we'll go to the two line when you click on it. To add additional addresses to the two line, click on the address book. Look at all the names there. Let's type in the first initials of the name we want. And that's Dustin Garza. We click on Dustin's name and it automatically pick, appears on the two line. Click OK and there it is. Now let's prepare a CC address. Again, just put in the first few letters. The name appears automatically. And when you click on it, the name burn to learn training at gmail.com appears on the CC line automatically. Now it's time to prepare a subject. And we're going to say, hey, friends. Check this out. Now we're going to show you how to add the body to this email by inserting a table with six rows. First, click on insert and then click on table. Move your cursor down six rows and click on the sixth one. Now you want to center this. Now we're going to begin with the very first row. We're going to click on pictures and insert. And we'll go down the many options and pick images. Now we're going to double click on the image we want and then click insert. And there you have it. The image is nice, beautiful, right on the first cell. Now we're going to work on the message part of your new email. First go to the original text. Now let's uh, select it and copy it. All right, now let's go over to our new email where we will paste it. There we have it. Now let's work on the style of this message a little bit. First, let's, let's consider the font. 
there are several options we can choose. There's several, as you can see. We really, really like Brascaville Old Face. That's looking pretty good. Now let's choose the font size. Notice how the font cha size changes as we scroll down the font sizes. We like 14. So there we have it. Now let's work on the date. Let's really make that pop. After we put some color on it, like this golden look, look and change the size of the font. Let's make it really big. Let's try 36. Now center it. Oh, that's really outstanding. It just kind of pops, doesn't it? Now let's get some, some space in the top and the bottom of it so it doesn't look just squeezed in this spot. And there you have it. So now we're going to add a color border. And we're going to select a color for it. And wow, that's a good, nice tone color. Now we're going to insert, show you how to insert a chart in this email. So go over to chart and we have several options. There's a line, there's pie, there's bar, there's stock, there's service, surface. Let's use a pie chart. Just click OK. Ah, uh, there it is. OK, first we center it, center the message on the message tab. And now we want to change this background color. Now we want to give this chart a title. So we click on the title section and type in the title we want. Going to give it a color as well. Choosing yellow. We're also going to change the font size to 20. And so now we have a very bright yellow Title, check this out. Now we want to teach you how to put a signature right in your, your chart. So click on insert and then click signature. We're going to choose the burn to learn signature. And there we have it. We want to cut and paste it in the chart so that it's properly aligned. Next, we want to show you how to give your amazing email a very professional look. We're going to add header and footer margin with color. So first we go to get a color for it. And that's a nice color that complements our top header. Now we're going to put a footer in there with another color. And this will be a matching color. Now this will really give our amazing looking email even a greater look of professionalism. This is fun and easy to do so far, right? We've just got a few more things to do. We want to remove the borders around this email. So we select the whole thing. And click on no border. And the border lines disappear. And we have a, an amazing looking professional email ready to be sent.
All right, there we have our new email. The next thing we need to do is to send it. So let's scroll over and hit the send button. It has come through in all of its color without borderlines, with interesting color, with the, the body of it at the right font size and a good signature. This is an amazing and professional looking email. One that we should be really proud to send. I want to thank you for listening. And in our next tutorial, we're going to teach you how to fix an email that's stuck in your outbox. Until then, have fun.